Today I want to talk about nine rules that you can use to your advantage to score better. Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. I know talking about the rules isn't as sexy as reviewing a brand new driver, but the rules of golf are kind of important and you need to have a basic understanding. But what I want to talk about today is not all of the rules are there to penalise you for doing the slightest thing wrong. And there's been a lot of changes to get rid of those kind of rules. Some of these rules you can actually use to your benefit to give you an advantage out on the course. So it's important you know these. And the idea for this episode came because my son Zach played in a junior comp once. His ball had plugged and he didn't realise he could get relief. A couple of blows knocked it further into the ground. Then he took a penalty drop, ended up signing for a massive number that was unnecessary before a junior organiser could tell him that he didn't need to do all that. So I think it's really important that you know some of these rules are there to help you. So the first one is if I'm on the green and I'm taking a practice putt and I accidentally hit my ball, that's not a penalty. So I'll agree with my playing partners whereabouts it was and I can put it back with no penalty. Likewise, if I'm on the green and I accidentally kick the ball, you can put it back without a penalty. So bear that in mind, next time you're on the green and you accidentally whiff one. If when you're searching for your ball in the rough you actually densely stand on it, that's not a penalty anymore, so you just put it back to where it was. If also whilst you're searching for the ball you end up, you know, improving the lie, perhaps you knock a couple of leaves out of the way as well by accident whilst you're looking for the ball, as long as it's not done intentionally, that's no penalty either. So this next one, when I first thought about it, I thought it would mostly apply to beginners who are perhaps struggling in bunkers and want to drop it out on the grass and happy to take a penalty. But I've got a shot here on the 17th, my ball's come in, it's plugged just under the lip. I'm never going to get that out. You know, what I can do, if I want, if my pride will allow me, is I can take it out of there, obviously going to put a tee in, and go back in line with the flag as far as I like, and then drop it from over there. Now this is going to cost me two shots, but would I got that out in two, or if you're a beginner, this could be really helpful. And you've got a free go at it. Ooh. I think I made the right call there. In 2019, there were some pretty massive changes to the rules of golf, and one of the more helpful ones was, if your ball's plugged in a general play area, you can get relief. So general play is anywhere on the course other than a bunker or a penalty area. So I'm in the rough here, and I think my ball's plugged. So this issue Zach had in that competition I was telling you about at the start of the show. So you've got to call your playing partner over, just so you can inspect it. That ball's clearly plugged. So now what I've got to do is take a spot right behind there, put my tee peg in. I can measure one club length from there. Drop it in there, and I'm good to go. One of the recent changes is if you're on the green, you can actually touch the line of your putt now. Now it's not something you're going to do every day, maybe if you've got a caddy or a playing partner who's kind of trying to, trying to show you the line and they accidentally touch it. Well that used to be a penalty but it's not anymore. If when you get to your ball in a bunker there's a stone or an acorn or a bit of a twig behind the ball, you can get relief from that. That's a loose impediment. So tell your playing partners what you're going to do. Guys, I think there's a stone. Take it out, get rid of that, no penalty and you're good to go. bad before breakfast. You're not alone, I've had no breakfast. Another one that's massively helpful is when you're getting a free drop, you don't have to drop it in the same conditions it's in. So my ball's here, it's in the sprinkler head just off the green. So I'm allowed nearest point of full relief plus one club length. So that's going to get me to about here, right? So now I'm dropping from the first cut onto the dance floor. Okay guys, so before I do this next one, I'd love you to get in the comments and let me know what rules of golf would you like to see change? For me, it's got to be when your ball lands in a divot in the fairway. You should get relief from that, it's not fair. Someone else has taken a divot, fair enough. Why should I be penalised for that when I've hit the fairway? I think that's a rule that should be changed. But get in the comments below and please let me know what rules of golf you'd like to see changed. When you're on the green now, you can pretty much tap down any imperfection in the green. So if somebody's left an old pitch mark or there's some spike marks around the hole, you can tap that down. Now there are some exceptions, you can't tap down natural wear and tear if it's a particular kind of surface on the green or if it's say an aeration hole, but certainly for somebody who's not fixed their pitch mark properly or an old spike mark, you're good to go. Tap it down and roll it in. That was first take as well. <laughs> okay, so this next one, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit odd and it's not something you see every day. 
So we're on the teeing ground. The teeing ground is defined as between the two markers and two club lengths coming back. So I can pretty much peg the ball up anywhere in this rectangle. And we know that if you're taking a practice swing and you accidentally hit the ball, you know, we saw Zach Johnson do it in the Masters, as long as it's a practice swing, tell your playing partners, go fetch the ball, put it back, no penalty. But what I didn't know was, if I'm not taking a practice swing and I'm taking my shot, and I've accidentally knocked the ball off the tee, as long as that ball stays anywhere within the teeing ground, I can peg it back up again and play it without a penalty. So that's really good to know. And the last one which is really helpful is check the back of your scorecard for the local rules. You know, you may get some rules here that you might not ordinarily get. So I've got a situation here where I'm just off the green, I want to put, but there's a sprinkle head in my way. So these local rules say, if that sprinkle head's within two club lengths of the green, and I'm within two club lengths of the sprinkle head, I get a drop. You know, you could measure it. You're gonna be over here somewhere. No nearer the hole. Another time the local rules can be useful is say if your ball's on a path, check the local rules because you're probably going to get relief. I can drop this over here, no penalty, I'm good to go and I'm not going to scrape a chunk out my wedge. Okay, that's nine rules that I think are worth knowing because are going to help you lower your scores out on the course. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, give it a subscribe and we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.